Welcome everyone to the Tactical Tavern. My name is Tomas Las, and in this video, we're reviewing the Doug Markaida Talon Fixed Blade from 511 Tactical. Specifically, we're gonna see how this knife stacks up against the Tactical Tavern test with 25 possible points based on price, functionality and design, dependability, versatility, and carryability. Let's cut into it. We're gonna review this knife for the production value alone. First up is price. This knife retails for $89.99 from 511 Tactical. This knife is a collaboration between Doug Markaida and 511 Tactical. Doug Markaida is a judge on history's Forge and Fire. For his expertise, I would have liked to see a little bit more brought to the Talon Fixed Blade. This knife scores a three out of five on pricing. It is produced in Taiwan and uses medium to low grade materials. I personally think it's really just the name that attracts the higher price point. I personally would have loved to see this knife around the $50 price point to maximize the value. Next up is functionality and design. This knife sports a 2.75 inch D2 steel blade with a fuller ground into the design. The handle is 4.3 inches long composed of translucent FRN, which stands for fiberglass reinforced nylon. The karambit has light jimping on the top of the ring that helps with grip. The sheath is plastic and comes with a pull the dot attachment. I really enjoy the blade shape, which is modeled after an eagle's talon, hence where it gets the name. The knife is ergonomic, but quite small and maybe a little bit too small for people with larger hands. I absolutely love the attention to detail and the small cutout towards the bottom of the handle that allows for for a very comfortable grip. I also appreciate the light jimping under the finger groove that also adds in the traction. I must note that the handle scales are extremely slippery and offer no traction. If you choose to wear this knife concealed, you may really appreciate the fact that it is smooth and won't scrape your skin. This knife does come in a folding version as well, and that raised tip does help to deploy the knife. However, I'm not sure why they included that on this part of the design because it does not allow for a positive grip, both in forward and reverse. The tall thumb ramp added to this fixed blade design makes it really awkward when you add your thumb for a pressure assisted cut. Furthermore, it also digs into the palm of my hand when I go for a more concealed grip. The angle of this blade makes it a great thrusting implement from a variety of angles. The retention on this knife sheath is fantastic and one of my favorite parts of this knife. The click retention on this knife is very reassuring. You won't lose your knife in combat conditions. Conditions. I personally really dislike the type of belt attachment method they decided to go with. Pull the dot clips do not offer a variety of carry options. Furthermore, they make it really bulky and hard to clip onto the belt. However, the amount of eyelets on the sheath allow for a variety of carry options that'll fit your needs best. This knife scores a 3 out of 5 for functionality and design. This knife would score higher, however, I am not a fan of the smooth handle scales, the blade ramp that impedes the variety of grips, as well as the lack of sheath carry options right out of the box. Next up is dependability. This knife is fairly easy to deploy with the ring. However, if you go for the knife and grab the handle scales, your hands could slip off, especially under stress with additional factors in play this knife is gonna be hard to deploy. The edge geometry, however, is really good for thrusting and slashing, but the initial edge from the factory was not sharp. And as a professional knife sharpener, making sure that your knives are in perfect working order is a must. Not getting that right out of the box negatively affects the dependability score. The Talon scores two out of five on dependability. If you can't quickly deploy the knife or cut with it, then what's the point of carrying it? Next up is versatility. I really see this knife being a great collector's item. It may be hard to excel in daily cutting tasks because of the thickness behind the edge and lack of maneuverability the knife offers. I personally don't recommend carrying this knife as a backup defensive or primary defensive tool. Because of that lack of grip, you're not gonna be able to get it out quickly. I also don't see this knife being great for a hiking or camping knife because the geometry is not suited for field use. This knife scores one out of five on versatility. If you practice martial arts, enjoy Doug Markaida and Fortune Fire, or open a lot of mail, this knife may be for you. Next up is carryability. The only way to safely carry this knife is with the sheath. Out of the box, the sheath does not provide you with a lot of carry options. However, those eyelets do assist you in adding different attachments that fit your lifestyle. If you don't have a belt or molly webbing, you're not gonna be able to carry this knife. If you are interested in carrying this knife, I would highly recommend checking out Discreet Carry Concepts. They provide clips that you can wear with literally anything, including your swimsuit. This knife scores two out of five on carryability. This knife is thin and easy to carry. However, right out of the box, you're gonna be left with very few options for carryability. Overall, this knife scores 11 out of 25 and is a fail on the Tactical Tavern test. I personally feel this knife is a bit overpriced and falls short for what you get. However, if you practice martial arts, enjoy Doug Markaida, or want a cool letter opener, I feel that this knife may be for you. However, I cannot recommend it for real world applications. All right, everyone, that wraps up this review of the 511 Tactical Talon by Doug Markaida. If you agree or disagree with the review, let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your opinions. 
And while you're there, make sure to leave a like and subscribe because it supports the channel. If you like this content and like to see more, make sure you turn on post notifications so you don't miss new episodes Tuesdays and Thursdays. With that being said, my name is Tomas Salas with the Tactical Tavern. I'll see you in the next video. And remember, be prepared, be practical, stay tactical.